Okay, last night I did a, uh, a YouTube live. Some of you guys may have may have seen that. And one thing, you know, several things. It was always fun chatting with everybody. One of the things that stuck out to me: there was a person in there who said that he uh, had been able to lose 400 pounds. That's 400 pounds. Remember, we had the talk yesterday about super super morbid obesity. Well, he would have qualified from that. He was 630 pounds, lost 400 pounds down to 230 and has maintained that for now five years. First of all, congratulations, that's, that's huge. And, and you know, obviously uh, a host of other medical conditions went away as you might expect. Now, the thing is he did this using uh, ketogenic and carnivore type diets. And what we keep hearing from the media and from dietitians and a lot of physicians groups uh, that this diet is not something that is sustainable, right? Even if it does work, it's not sustainable. No one can do it. And therefore, she should not do that. And you know, we have, uh, and, you know, for, for quite honestly, that's just being dishonest. Uh, it's lying as far as I'm concerned. There are many, many people that sustain this diet for, for years and years and, and decades or more. Certainly, they make it a lifestyle. Uh, I don't think it's that hard to sustain. And you can certainly comment if you think it's hard to sustain in the comments. But, you know, by reducing carbohydrates, and again, not everybody needs to do that to lose weight, but for those that do, um, often it becomes a very, very uh, effective way to lose weight, uh, get off medication, so on and so forth. And the, you know, you think about why are they telling you it's not sustainable? Don't try this. Well, you know, we've recently seen where these dietitians groups, or dietitians, have been basically paid by junk food companies to promote moderation, eating a bit of sugar, you know, eating this, eating that, um, because you know the fact that um, this particular style of dieting will cost you know, people that, that profit off of illness, disease, junk food manufacturing, millions and, well, honestly, billions and billions of dollars. And that is, in my view, the main reasons people tell you it's unsustainable. It's not unsustainable, it's quite easy to do. Now, does it mean you have to be strict every single day of your life? Not necessarily, no. For many people, you know, they can, they can, they can you know, occasionally veer on and off, but I mean, if the baseline majority of your diet is reduction of carbohydrates, particularly the processed carbohydrates, and emphasizing high quality proteins and fats, uh, particularly animal source foods, many people, if not most people, will notice a significant improvement in their health. And all of this, in my view, it's not altruism to save you from this or that. You know, we keep hearing, oh, it's gonna shorten your life, it's gonna give you heart disease. I mean, those things are, one, not, provable. They're, they just can't be proven, right? There's no study that will ever be done that can actually prove that. So they just use very, very tenuous data to make this argument. And again, I think it's mostly driven by profit. Anyway, what do you guys think? I uh, appreciate you guys uh, as, as uh, uh, subscribers. Hopefully uh, you're finding some value in this content. Um, that's coming soon, so I'm super excited about that. Anyway, you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.